Uh, today we are going to discuss about uh, creating a EC2 instance Windows ins instance in AWS and uh, using the free tier uh, setup or the micro instance. So let us try to launch it and how to do the RDP also we are going to discuss. Okay, so let us try to launch that session. Okay, so here I'm going to. So here you can give your uh, instance name. For example, I'm giving my Windows T2 and select the quick setup. Uh, the type of machine is e Windows uh, EC2 instance. And I'm selecting the free tier eligible as it is. I'm not going to do anything. And, and retain the instance type also free tier, tier eligible. So this is not, not chargeable, okay and create a new key pair and don't use anything uh, the old one for safer side so okay i'm naming the key pair uh, my t3 and uh, leave it private key file format pem and create a key pair value and it will be downloaded in your download uh, folder now here in this section uh, leave the create security group uh, open uh, to allow the traffic uh, both inbound route so this is more crucial don't change this one so that uh, anywhere uh, you can but this is not recommended practice but uh, and also enable this other two as well in case if you are going to use IA services for web service purposes something so I'm going to leave that as uh, select that as well and rest of the things you leave it as it is and go all the way down scroll all the way down and launch the instance So now let the instance being launched now. So select the instance. Okay, so it's in pending state now. So once it is completed and it changed to from pending to running, you are good to use it. But uh, <clears throat> we have to generate the password uh, based on the file what we generate the PM file. Okay, so I'll show how to do that. Once we have done with that setup final thing, we can take it to the RDP means like this instance we can launch into the rdp okay with that we can wind up uh, our session okay so let's wait for it to yeah the instance is ready now so what the next thing you can do is select this instance and click connect okay and the next tab from the connect to instance you can see rdp client this is what we are going to do it with this windows instance and you can see this connect using rdp client and here we need to click the get password sometimes you need to wait for uh, some four or five minutes uh, because the instance is uh, uh, though it is running but still we need to give some time to complete it uh, for complete setup to be done so let's wait for it uh, so let's let's go back here and connect it and wait for a few minutes here So <clears throat> yeah, now it's ready, completely done. So once you click the get password, so now you can see this is the section where in which you are going to upload the private key file which you have downloaded. Okay. So the private key file is ready, uh, means we uploaded. So now let's try to decrypt the password. So the password. So this is the password we supposed to use it. This is the instance. So the copy the public instance now. So in my case, I have uh, in Ma my Mac Microsoft remote desktop. So you can type MSTS in Windows and uh, get into oh, that. But I'm going to use this one. Add PC. I'm going to give the uh, instance name and I'm going to copy the password as well now. So the user ID, as you know, it's an administrator. So click add. So once it's added, the machine is added here. Okay, now you can click the three dots and say connect. Okay, now the user, you have to type in, as I told you before, administrator and the password, which you generated, you have to make use of it. Okay, rest all things continue. So now the 
instance being launched you need to give you a minute to completely load with the initial profile settings everything yeah this personal this is the first time uh, it will do all these profile settings in personal settings so once it is done so you are good to make use of this easy to instance okay So that's it friend, the instance is ready, you can make use of this instance, so oh, I'm going to close this instance, I'm going to remove it from my machine here, okay, so I'm going back and go to, I'm going back to the EC2 instance, I'm, go, I'm not going to use it anymore, so I'm going to terminate the session, otherwise it's a cost factor, I'm going to terminate it, the instance immediately, that's it. Thank you friends for watching my video, please subscribe my channel.